Welcome to this week Wealth Management Digest. We got three topics to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one, we have Vanguard disclosed to the SEC that it will end this plan to market RIA services to American Express cardholders. When this announcement came um, up about two and a half years ago, it was a big deal. These are two huge players uh, you know, doing a, a partnership. The fact that it ended, we don't know a lot of uh, details yet since it was just a disclosure to the SEC. So we'll have to wait and see what Vanguard and American Express have to tell us separately. Number two, we have data from Morningstar Direct show that, surprise, surprise, active funds and ETFs shed about $379 billion in outflows uh, this year, while passive strategies took in $410 billion. Uh, it's pretty crazy how some trends could go on for decades, and that's the case between passive and active. The uh, move towards passive continues. Uh, and is one of those things that I don't see why uh, it would stop any anytime soon, right? It's crazy considering how big the passive uh, uh, market is now versus uh, a decade ago, still growing. Third one, we have a new white paper called Welcome to the Jungle, uh, written by industry consultant Mark Hurley. It definitely worth a read, fairly comprehensive. Some of his predictions are, call it... Um, not industry standard. Some are. Uh, a couple of things worth uh, mentioning that, that I read through it. When I read through it is pretty consensus view here. Uh, the industry is going to become more competitive when it comes to the RI space uh, as there's going to be further consolidation. It also predicts that larger firms will institutionalize their process and have operators run the show rather than, um, than advisors that became uh, CEOs, right? But then kind of like scale to become operators. I think that's fairly uh, expected as the industry continues to kind of become more sophisticated. Uh, it does say it won't, does not mean that there won't be niche players, but those niche players will have to be a lot more sophisticated and differentiated to sustain margins. Uh, one of the things that he mentions that I think is a, a really interesting uh, way of looking at the space is looking at asset management and saying, hey, what, what can we learn from the asset management industry, which is roughly call it 10, 15 years ahead when it comes to uh, level of consolidation, scale, uh, sophistication, to see what we could um, you know, make apples to apples comparison to what might happen next for the wealth management industry. And I do think that that idea, I'll call it like a barbell where you have highly uh, consolidated scale players and then more niche players that are highly differentiated, something we see in asset management, likely will be something we'll see in wealth management. It also he mentions that talent will be in greater demand, harder to come, and more expensive. A hundred percent, I agree with that. Uh, the industry, for all intended purposes, was a cottage industry and is becoming more sophisticated. Uh, is going to the, the call it the, the advice is going to continue to evolve, and the standard of becoming an advisor is going to get higher on what you know what service we provide. So it makes sense that it's going to get harder to find great talent uh, and it's going to get more expensive. Uh, that is something that I totally agree with. Well, that is it for this week. Uh, talk to you next week.